video I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset on an M8 box. I'm going to show you in two different methods. I'm going to show you how to do it from the settings menu and then how to do it using a pin. So it's, this is the M8's main home screen. So what we need to do is get into the settings menu. So we go to settings and we go to other and then we go into more settings and then we need to scroll down till we see backup and reset click on backup and reset from here you'll see two boxes you need to tick the top box first this will enable you to untick the bottom box so now you untick the bottom box and then untick the top box and then confirm that that's what you want to do now you've got both boxes unticked you go to factory data reset click on that and now just confirm you're going to reset the MBX box and then erase everything. And it's that simple. The device will now restart and reboot. If you cannot get into your settings menu, there is another way you can reset it using a pin. I'll show you how to do that now. I'll show you where your reset button is on your M8. So if we turn it to the back, we can see an AV hole right here. So this little black hole, if we push the pin in that hole, you'll hear it click. That's the button. So you just need to compress and hold. So that's where your reset button is on your M8, which is right here, your AV port. So I'm going to hold the reset button in the back of the device in the AV port. I've shown you where it is, it's right here. So I'm gonna hold that button in. In order to do that, I'm gonna take the power lead out first. I'm gonna hold the button in. Make sure you hear it click. Yeah, and then I'm gonna connect the power lead. Holding the button in the whole time. I'm not gonna release the button. until this M8 screen goes. Now I'll release the button. And now we are in recovery mode. From here, you can use your remote to scroll up and down and click on things using the uh, back button. I think the back button controls controls it. It's not actually enter or OK. So what we need to do from here, there's a few different options from this recovery menu. If you've got an SD card and you want to flash your device, as long as your, your SD card was inserted before you plugged the power lead in and held the reset button in, the device should just automatically boot into recovery and start to flash your device if you followed that method. If it didn't, just plug your SD card in now, go to update from EXT, and then update from SD card, and then you should see your file, you locate it and click on it. I haven't got an SD card in, so it will not locate any files. In order to do a factory reset, if you couldn't get your device to start, all we need to do is go down to white data factory reset, and then go down to yes, delete all user data. It will see at the bottom it's wiping data and then it's formatting the drive again. It's formatting the cache and then it's complete. All you need to do now is click on the top one, reboot system now and that should allow you back into your system. Thank you for watching. This is brought to you by www.drosticks.co.uk.